Greetings, I'm Dr. Nicole Steele, and I bring to you the 2022 State of Our Daughters Address. I come to you today not only as the founder and executive director of Diamond in the Rough, but also as a mother, mentor, and a concerned global citizen. As a nation and world, we find ourselves smack dab in the middle of a perfect storm. As we wrestle with the physical, emotional, social, and the financial impact of a global pandemic, coupled with violent crime, heightened racial tension, social justice issues, political polarization, global climate change, economic instability, and an ever-changing workforce, no wonder kids and adults alike are on edge. When it comes to COVID-19 specifically, the disruption of life as we've known it has created enormous feelings of anxiousness, anxiety, overwhelm, fear, and grief. The hopes and dreams that many had have been put on pause and the confidence and assurance that many of us once have has been snatched. If that's not enough, for girls in particular, add to the list challenges including hormones and the objectification that they face and the voice of media and an all-out attack on their identity. And through it all, they're expected to resume life and to act as if things are normal when the pressures they are facing are far from normal. The effects are far-reaching and they are taking an enormous toll on the hearts, minds, and spirit of our children. In fact, the U.S. Surgeon General has determined that we have a full-fledged mental health crisis on our hands with an increase in suicidal ideations, depression, and anxiety. There have been um, associations and medical um, companies and people around the nation that have jointly declared a national emergency in children's mental health, citing COVID-19 as the culprit. So what do we do? What do we do with all this is the question. The CDC found that in 2020, from March to October alone, mental health emergencies rose by 31% among middle and high school students. And when it came to suicide attempts, it increased 51% with girls alone from 2019 to 2021. If that's not enough, we think about the families who've experienced tremendous loss. In the U.S. alone, over 140,000 children have lost a primary or secondary caregiver. And with black and brown children being impacted disproportionately. On top of that, black and brown children add to their mental health crisis the issues of racial justice. Those numbers are overwhelming to say the least. And I'm here to remind you behind every one of those statistics is a name, a face, and a family who's impacted. It could very well be the face or your family, but there is hope. And I'm here to share it with you. The fact is mentoring matters when it comes to mental health. That's right, mentoring has been proven to have a positive effect on mental health of both mentors and mentees. Mentoring can help young people overcome feelings of isolation. Mentoring can build confidence and help with challenging limiting beliefs. Mentoring can create safe spaces where young people are felt and they're heard and seen. Mentoring can help foster healthy relationships and help young people build connections. Mentoring can give hope for tomorrow. And over the 18 years, Diamond in the Rough recognizes that and we believe that now more than ever before, mentoring does matter. And while our current state creates a long journey ahead for us, Diamond in the Rough remains committed to the cause. Although many of our girls may not be okay right now, I am here to declare that they will be okay. Despite what it looks like in the very real situation we find ourselves in, our daughters are strong and they're resilient. And I believe with our collective help, we can provide encouragement and support to help them rise to the occasion and possibly come out shining brighter 
than we could have ever imagined. But only if we collectively undergird them. If we stand in the gap for them and fight for them when they can't fight for themselves. As parents, as mentors, as youth advocates, we got to fight for them and for their futures with everything that we've got. We've got to remove the veil and the secret shame when it comes to mental health. And we need to acknowledge to our kids that it's okay not to feel okay, while at the same time providing practical tools and support for girls and for families to cope. We must continue to advocate and elevate the voices of our youth. We must resurrect hope and create spaces for them to dream again while providing the necessary resources, tools, and support to help make their dreams a reality. We must partner with trained professionals, with counselors and educators and other agencies to create that village of support for those that we serve. And lastly, as adults, we must model healthy mental health, wellness, and self-care and take care of our own needs. The good news is despite the challenges we face, our incredible team of volunteers and our generous supporters have helped Diamond in the Rough rise to the occasion and remain on the front line for 18 years in county, helping to educate and empower and equip girls and families. During COVID-19 in particular, our organization was able to pivot during the height of uncertainty, moving our face-to-face programming to a full-out virtual platform so that girls continue to be provided that safe space to connect and to engage. Through technology, we were able to expand our borders, serving girls outside of our geographical location with plans to expand even more in the coming years. We invested in new technology and developed new tools to help us be more effective and more efficient. We have and will continue to expand our partnership with trained professionals and select organizations that add value to the lives of those that we serve. We are addressing the changing landscape of the college and career space and will continue to leverage our relationship with corporations and community partners to give our gyms a cutting edge and to expose them to opportunities to thrive both personally and professionally. We're committed to continuing to fill the pipeline with tomorrow's leaders through our core leadership program and our Crown's college and career program and continue to provide exposure and experiences. We remain committed to the whole family, providing much needed encouragement and support for parents and guardians through our monthly free workshops and private online parent portals and community bulletin boards and recommendations. We look forward to continuing to support our families. In addition to all these things, we're excited about some new things that have been added even in the midst of this time. We're committed to continuing to extend our reach well beyond our walls through educational opportunities, events, and experiences, including our upcoming 2020 She's Got Confidence Global Summit, which is designed for girls and parents to restore their confidence, their courage, and their calm in the midst of crisis. We're looking for unique opportunities for girls and families to enrich their souls through our spiritual enrichment programming and prayer. And lastly, we're committed to making mental health, wellness, and self-care a priority here at Diamond in the Rough with the launch of our new care project, which will educate and expand resources and provide safe spaces for girls to continue to learn to cope, build awareness, resilience, and to be empowered. In closing, we're inviting you to join us. As parents and families continue to get involved and take full advantage of the programs and resources that we make available to you and to the community at large, spread the word. For those who have a passion to serve, consider joining our dynamic team of committed volunteers. For professionals and organizations who share our desire to equip and empower girls, we invite you to join us in partnership and collaboration. 
And lastly, for those who have resources to share, please consider supporting us with your tax-deductible financial contributions. On behalf of my team and the Army of Youth Development uh, professionals out here, I declare our daughters shall rise with confidence and shine even in the midst of adversity. Our daughters shall feel seen, be heard, and feel loved. And our daughters shall be reminded that they were destined, determined, and designed to shine.